Hey guys, how's it going? Well, I got my mower on the tractor and I just got done mowing a big field of hay. Great big old field. I couldn't film it, or didn't feel right filming it because it's not actually our field. We're just, we just now got the lease on it this year, so I didn't want to, you know, film his property. So, my unvideotaped, un, yeah, well, unvideotaped opinion on this is I like it. Uh, the only issue that I have with it, it's not really an issue, it's more of an issue with the tractor, is it's heavy. It's like 1100 and 77 pounds mower here uh i'm light on the front end so when i uh note to self next time i mow his property i have got to put my front end loader on for extra weight on front so uh, that's what i gotta remember because this man I, my front end saw quite a bit of air time today or yesterday and today it took me two afternoons to i started yesterday mowed till six from two to six and still didn't get done and then i got home today and mowed the rest of it just now got done so and it's probably about almost four o'clock so it's a pretty big pretty big patch over there uh as far as balance on the like side to side i felt pretty decent uh these tires are fluted and got cast iron rims on it and they're, they're fluted so uh they i didn't feel too bad on it so that's good only issue uh, like i said a minute ago only issue that i didn't feel too safe with on heels is the front end trying to make turns and stuff so i cut in directions that i felt safe doing so uh but i mean this thing here just mowed like it was nothing there uh i hit some rock a couple of big rock in it and it just shattered rock and then i hit a concrete block and it just shattered block into dust pretty much uh i started a season with brand new blades so these are brand new blades on this thing all the way around and i'm pretty glad that was already got a little bit of chip on it one of them rocks where i hit it probably but uh i mean this thing just i was mowing at seven right at about seven miles an hour on good level ground i, was, I only had to, i was able to mow for about fourth gear on these steep slope stuff but as far as like level ground i was doing six six gear about seven miles an hour on the thing and wasn't missing a beat so uh worked out pretty well and don't think i had any other issue uh well i had an issue with my stabilizer bar it kept coming loose on me but uh and this chain here i hadn't ever figured out what i want to do with it yet but so i just hung it there for now I had the kick off, uh, kick brake uh, break bar. I had it kick once on me because it snagged a hard spot. I don't know what it was a tree or what, but it snagged back and slammed back into place. So that worked out pretty well. I got to replace this rope here because it's a weak rope and it snapped on me once, so I got to replace it. And new lift arms work great. Didn't have, uh, and so yeah, other than that worked out i mean i'm really impressed with it. i did have issue with my tractor just a little bit uh my clutch started slipping where i put a new clutch in it last year i had to readjust it today before i started because it's slipping on me and it once i adjusted it man it didn't have give me a bit of issue and had an oil leak yesterday but i found out that a bolt was loose right there so i tightened it up and i don't see it leaking anymore and then my coolant, I got it warm, but my temperature gauge was okay. But I could tell it got warm because it started to spew out of overflow here. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I'm really happy with this mower. So I know my tractor has struggled a little bit, but it, you know, it's mostly a weight issue. So. I guess that's about it. I got locked up in upright position for because of this my pickup truck over here, and I wanted to put the tractor in the shop, and this won't fit in the other barn, so this about as good as I can get it. But I got in the lock up position right there, so I had it parked like this last night, and I didn't have any, couldn't it didn't ever leak over. So, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be raking that yet. 
the now I got the double rake system on here with the dolly and everything, but the problem is uh his gates are so narrow that I can't get the dolly through there. Even without the rakes, the dolly won't won't fit through there. And then one one spot where that had a crossover to go to another field in a wooded area, I had to fold my mower up just to get in through there. So double rake system's not going on. I'm gonna have to invest in a V rake or something this year. So but I'm gonna go in here and feed my cat, go in the house, eat, play with my niece for a little bit. She's here and call it a day so y'all uh, have a good one take it easy appreciate all the help on and advice on the mower first time ever using disc mower so i'm I, i'm still a rookie at it even after spending about seven hours on mowing between mowing yesterday and today i'm still a rookie uh i gotta feed my cat so that's what you're hearing yeah, gotta feed, make my, gotta make my shop kitty happy. And the way it sounds, I'll be getting another little shop kitty because my sister's gonna bring us another kitten over here. And she got like twenty something kittens that she wants to get rid of. She had a few. Hold on, just a second. Had a few cats. Uh, uh they're barn cats. Uh, you know, they think they're rabbits or something. So now they got like twenty six kittens or whatever. So. I told him he'll take one, give him, give Buddy here a buddy to, uh, to have. Him. Like I really need another cat mouth to feed, but oh well. Y'all take it easy, stay safe, and the next videos that I'm, I will be able, next time I mow, I will be able to video it because it'll be on my own property here, so. I'll show y'all how uh, how good it works. So y'all take it easy. Keep in touch. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll holler at you in the next video.